This section will take approximately 30 minutes to complete. In this section, we will discuss about safety and security of a parking lot. When people travel for vacations or business, they often stay at a hotel or motel. When people go out for an evening of entertainment, this may include patronizing a restaurant or club. These may be part of an overall planned vacation for some people. The success of a hospitality business depends on the patronage given to them by their guests. When given the opportunity, people will choose a hospitality property that meets their expectations. These expectations include price, location, food, and facilities suited to their desires or needs. Hotels and motels meet the expectations of their guests by providing amenities that include indoor or outdoor pools, saunas, whirlpools, fitness centers, restaurants, conference rooms, and clubs. Many times these amenities are open to the general public and not just the guests of the hotel or motel. The hospitality industry invites guests onto their premise. They have a responsibility to ensure that their premises are reasonably safe for their guests and employees. This invitation extends to all parts of the premises to which the guest may be expected to go and to those parts of the premises that the business may have led the guest to believe they can go to. This includes hallways, aisles, walkways, and areas of parking lots. The hospitality industry has often been accused of being negligent in the security of its guests. Negligent security claims have resulted in court ruling that the hospitality industry take a responsibility for safety and security of their guests. Security is one of the most important issues confronting the hospitality industry today. Parking lots and parking garages are resources used by businesses for accommodating the vehicles of their patrons and employees. These parking facilities have become likely locations for criminal activity on a commercial property. Security for guests and their property is important. There will only be a small percentage of people in the parking facility compared to inside the building of any business. There is no perfect security solution when determining how to address the security of a property. Flawless crime prevention is not reasonably obtained and not required, but a reasonable security plan is. Crime foreseeability is the reasonable expectation of a criminal act. If a crime is not foreseeable, it doesn't mean that the crime isn't possible. It means that the crime was not reasonably foreseeable for that situation at that time and at that location. To determine crime foreseeability of a parking lot, a security survey should be conducted. A security survey is an examination and analysis of a location to determine the status of security already present, identify any deficiencies, determine what protection is needed, and make recommendations to improve the security of the location. Crime cannot always be deterred or prevented on any property that is open to the public, but there should be adequate security measures in place. Crime foreseeability in a parking lot is determined by four factors. They are the design of the parking facility, type of business the parking facility is affiliated with, crime history, of the parking facility and the local area around it and the location of the parking facility. If any of these factors reasonably points to a risk for crime, the issue of foreseeability should be addressed. Parking lots and parking garages come in all sizes and shapes. They can be elevated above ground level or be subterranean. Parking garages can have levels of parking that are both subterranean and elevated high above the ground. Poor lighting, columns, ramps, and walls can lead to poor visibility within the parking garage. Parking lots can allow a criminal to watch for security and provide access to escape routes from the area. Remote areas of parking facilities, especially at night, require proper lighting. The type of business, by its very nature, may have to be considered for the potential of crime occurring. The types of crimes that can be reasonably expected are predicted based on the very nature of the establishment even before it is constructed. The premises of a hospitality industry are open to the public 
and invite different types of people into the premises. Moreover, hotels and motels are usually open 24 hours a day or varying hours of operation. Hence, some of the factors that need to be considered are sales or services oriented businesses, types of patrons, open to the public, semi-private or private, hours of operation, and alcoholic beverages provided. An examination of crimes that have occurred on a given property, neighborhood, or immediate area needs to be performed. This includes the frequency of certain crimes, the time and day of their occurrence, the relationship with the victim, and the location on the property where the crime occurred. Information about criminal history of a location or area can be obtained from local law enforcement records bureaus and internal records. This process is often referred to as quantitative analysis. The factors for consideration for security of a parking facility include location within the community, other businesses in the immediate area, and proximity to major roadways or highways. A new business located in a high crime area should anticipate crime being foreseeable before it opens because of the immediate surrounding area. This can change later when the actual nature of the business is determined and how well the business is able to control criminal activity through the use of various security measures. There are conditions that affect the design of the parking facility, type of business affiliated with a parking facility, crime history of a parking facility area, and the location of the parking facility. Examples of some conditions are large or overgrown bushes located in islands of a parking lot. These bushes can block the view of someone being able to see any activity on other side of the bushes. This limits the natural surveillance, which is the ability of an individual to observe their surroundings of an individual. If a fence has holes in it or is not of proper height, the purpose of the fence is defeated if it was to deter intruders from gaining access to an area. Lighting not working properly or not properly positioned. If lighting is inadequate in an area, either because the light fixture is inoperable or there is no light fixture present, there is an increased possibility of property or violent crimes being committed in this area. How security patrols are utilized. A security patrol can randomly check random locations of an area. This would prevent the predictability of the whereabouts of a security patrol by a criminal. As we come to the end of this section, let's summarize what we just went through. In this section, we briefly understood that the industry is responsible to ensure that the premises are reasonably safe for their guests and employees. We also discussed the risk factors faced in a parking lot that are determined by crime foreseeability factors.